Okay, so that's my nook. I'll try to make a clip how to connect this GPS which is runs on the yo-yo board inside. There's nothing else in it, just the cable. cable. This is the OTG cable, one of the eBay. It doesn't have to be the red one which is coming with yo-yo board. The other one is a powering cable, it goes inside to just the ground and VIN and that's it really so that's the box which I put three AA batteries inside of it it's got the step up uh, converter which is here is a one which gives you 300 milliampers that's the on off switch and that's it uh, isn't I put the smaller one 300 because uh, the other one 700 it runs battery too quickly so 300 it's easy enough to power the nook power the yo-yo board and charge the whole set for whole day, whole day flying about 10 maybe 12 hours so that's fine I don't have a battery with me so I will just connect it to my laptop So the LEDs are showing the power in and the GP is trying to find the fix here, it's got it, it's gonna be blinking very slowly. So that's the set. This is just a standard uh, micro USB cable which I'm gonna connect to my GPS in a second. That's Nook which is absolutely power off so you need to press the long press of the back button and it will come off it it was charged up to the full so it should run sorry about this yeah it started i'm using quite old clockwork uh root which works fine just need to wait a couple of seconds to start it. I've got another OTG cable. I test it and it works fine as well, so there is no issue with OTG cables. Okay, so we are ready to rock. So now I'm gonna run uh, Nook Color Tools, go to all settings, development, and just uh, uncheck the auto mount. So when I put the OTG board, the message from uh, USB mode won't appear, so you'll still be able to use your Nook. Now I uh, will use just start fast mode up, which is not necessarily at the moment. And this is uh, USB mode up, and uh, it will show status change when I plug the cable inside it. this connector here. It's quite hard to do it one handed, so sorry. okay the message on nook appears that it's gonna be charging the charge status is full anyway but if message doesn't appear it means there is something wrong with the connection and for some reason it won't work so it must recognize that it's powered from outside and that's it i don't touch any button from this app apart from closing it when i close it just come back I got uh, Exisor Top Hat. I've got uh, another X. Yeah, it's a Top Hat. It's a special version developed for Nuke. I've got another beta version for it, but 
I using XCSOR because I believe it's a project which is developing very really quickly and it's got all the tools I will need on competition flying so I'll just start it now I just press the fly button the screen is automatically turning and just waiting for fix it's got the fix I'm inside the airspace so just ignore it and now it's working I'll just double click on the screen go to config one more time devices and it's showing the on the port you are free the GPS got the fix so you can press the monitor to get the messages up the screen and that's confirmed that the set is correctly connected uh, time to time XSOR seems to be losing a connection between the yo-yo board and I don't see the reason I believe it's a software issue maybe a buffer is uh, over uh, and once you reconnect the cable it will work again that's why I'm not using any other apps so if it happens in during the flight uh, reconnecting the cable it will solve the issue and then when you disconnect it you have to press the reconnect button one more time it's quite mm, uncomfortable I would say but it seems to be working this way anyway I will try to ask XSOR if they can do if the signal is lost it will automatically reconnect after a minute or something like that it will solve it so that's the XSOR running your yo board with GPS next thing I will I've got the Vario running with Arduino is just a simple sensor BMP 085 which is fine and uh, I will try to connect it to it and make some different battery regulator which will change the batteries automatically during the flight so there's few things I would like to develop as well anyway you know the reliability of the screen and it's it's really perfect so that's the nice things so I may show you some other apps as well uh, that's the uh, rotation lock uh, you can change your main screen rotation unfortunately the buttons doesn't show but I know that the first one is portrait landscape and just cancel it so I can use the landscape mode now for for a longer time and if you press long press it it will uh, keeps uh, this orientation even the application doesn't like it so it's quite nice anyway I've got the paragliding map which is oh I need the turn Wi-Fi on so just do it quickly I've got my hotspot um, running on my phone so it's quite nice as you can use the internet on your nook as well okay I'm connected so now it sure should refresh really the nice option will be if the GPS signal will be recognized but Android itself because at the moment it's only uh, giving the signal to XSOR but if it gives the signal to Android itself we can run some satnavs as well at the moment it's not available so let's my internet connection here is really slow but anyway it's it's showing slowly so that's the paragliding map run on XSOR it's it's quite accurate that's the place where we are going Tolmin in the next three weeks so I won't be able to do any development on the application and so that's that's the maps I had to show you
I've got the drop box as well. And I use Dropbox to exchange the files between phone, my computer and Nook. It's really easy and nice way as you can access all the same files in free devices and you can work on them on the three different places giving you the same result. So that's the app APK folder when I keep all my uh, and I keep all my applications so even if I got the second nook I can quickly install anything oh, I have it the nice thing is just upgrade ES file explorer to the latest version 303 and then you can uh, back up your um, applications so you can use them in your Dropbox I will post another clip how to do that later on So I think that's all. Thanks for watching and if you would like to ask any question go to Top Hub forum and just see the topic uh, new yo-yo board and Nook. Uh, I'm trying to put all this stuff inside there and good luck with your Nook. It's really amazing and it's gonna be nice thing once it's fully done. Thank you, bye.